All the protein in your diet is simply just a long chain of amino acids folded into various fancy different shapes. So what our body does is to break this down into simple individual amino acids and then absorb them. Protein digestion begins in stomach where the peptic or chief cells secrete pepsinogen which is converted by the acidic environment of the stomach into the active enzyme pepsin. Pepsin then breaks down the long protein chain into smaller peptides known as proteoses or peptones. As soon as the food enters the intestine, it encounters an alkaline medium and also pancreatic enzymes. These include trypsinogen which is activated by enterokinase present on the mucosa of small intestine into trypsin. Trypsin again has similar functions to pepsin, it breaks down the protein molecules further. We also have chymotrypsinogen and procarboxylase. These are activated by trypsin and they become chymotrypsin and carboxylase. All of these together break down protein further. So at the end we are left with simple dipeptides or tripeptides which are broken down further by dipeptidases or aminopeptidases. So at the end we are left with a lot of amino acids and a few dipeptides and tripeptides. For absorption of amino acids and dipeptides and tripeptides, just like in case of carbs, we have the sodium potassium ATPase pump on the basal surface, which pushes out three sodium ions and brings in two potassium using the energy of ATP. This creates an electrochemical gradient for sodium to move into the cell. But on the apical surface of the enterocytes, we have got anti-transport system which brings in one sodium ion and pushes out one hydrogen ion. This hydrogen ion then again tries to come into the cell and while doing so it brings along with it a molecule of dipeptide or a tripeptide. On the other hand, the sodium also tries to enter the cell through co-transporters and brings along with one amino acid. Inside the cell, the dipeptide and tripeptides are again broken down into individual amino acids and these amino acids exit the cell through facilitated diffusion via transporters on the basal surface. <laughs>